We all know that camping is one of the best outdoor activities you can do in your entire life. You have to go camping at least once in your lifetime, as it's something people seem to never forget. However, sometimes people forget what exactly they can do around the campfire, so we are here to answer those questions today. Stay tuned to this video, as we're going to discuss the best things to do while around the campfire. First up we have goods and bads. The first thing we recommend is that you play a simple game of goods and bads. This game is super simple and easy to grasp. Here you can kick off your amazing evening with friends in a great way. The game is very simple. Each person must talk about one positive thing and one negative thing that has happened to them in the past week. This game is great for playing with your closest friends and family, as they can learn more about you than they ever could before. It's great for building connections with newer people like partners or just new friends in the group. Let us know down in the comment section below how you feel about this one. And all also, if you've played it yourself. Next up is eat your s'more. One of the greatest things about chilling around a campfire is of course the food. You can cook so much around a campfire and even treat it like an event. However, one huge thing that people tend to cook is marshmallows and turn them into s'mores. Though you could just start cooking and eating the s'mores, a fun exercise you could do is earning the s'mores. A task you can complete is writing things down on a piece of paper and asking someone to complete a task written down. If they complete the task, they earn their s'more. So you could write down, sing your favorite song, or even dance around the campfire for a minute. It could be anything in your liking and in your group's humor range. This one is super fun and could get the ball rolling on an amazing evening with your friends and or family. What do you think? Let us know down below. And now, flashlight tag. This is one for once the sun has set and it's pretty dark outside. It's even better if the stars are out so you have a little bit of light to help everyone out. Once the fire has calmed down and the night is upon you, it's time for some flashlight tag. This one is very simple. Everyone has a flashlight and they run around in an area. You need to make sure it's a safe area, and if children are involved, adults must be around for it. One person is it each round, and they use their flashlight to tag someone like in a normal game of tag. It's a really simple yet effective way of having fun out in the wilderness near your campfire. Next, campfire desserts. Just like the s'mores section of this list, we also have some other desserts that you can cook around the campfire. Food over the fire is always amazing, and there is nothing better than desserts cooked over it. They are much nicer and seem to bring out the flavor better than normal cooking. You can treat yourself to some orange peel cupcakes or even some other fruit-based snacks. It's really up to you and depends on what you have out there. But let us know down in the comment section below how you feel about these desserts and what you have made in the wild whilst camping. Our last activity is the frog game. We'd be remiss in closing the list without adding a tried and true circle game. This one, called Frog, is one of our favorites. In this fast-paced memory game, players go around in a circle describing a frog. To start, the first player calls one frog. The player sitting next to them says two eyes. The third player calls four legs. The fourth person says in the puddle. And the fifth and final player yells kerplop. If someone makes a mistake, other players call out frog. And the game starts again. Keep track of how many frogs you get into the puddle without making a mistake. A more competitive version calls for players who make a mistake to sit out as fewer and fewer players participate, eventually resulting in one winner. From strumming a guitar to gazing at the stars, many of the best campfire activities are spontaneous and have no objective or prize. Start off with these five activities and see where the night takes you. Camping is an incredible activity that everyone needs to experience at some point in their lives. However, it does depend on where you live and where you could get to. It's a hard thing to camp in some areas of the world because of how bad the wilderness is or the fact that there are no good camping locations in your area. Whilst many of these travel areas might be abroad to you, there are usually some designated camping areas in every part of the world, especially in Europe and America. There are bound to be many locations that you can discover and explore whilst away from home. You just need to be in the right place. You can research these online, and it's actually best to do so, as you need to know what you're getting yourself into. Camping needs to be done right in order for you to adore and remember your experience fondly. Without correct preparations, camping can go incredibly wrong and fast. You need all these items we spoke about today and more, as they are essential in order for your camping experience to go right. Let us know down in the comment section below what you thought about today's video and the camping things we spoke about. Do you agree with everything 
everything we said? Or do you have some other ideas you want more people to know about? Let us know down in the comment section below. Camping needs to be a special experience, as it's something to do with family, friends, or loved ones. Keep that in mind. What do you think of this list? Have you done any of these activities? Or are you going to try them out soon when you get camping again? Let us know your stories down in the comment section below. And now, on to some other camping information. Finally, here are two of the best pieces of camping equipment right now. The first major thing that you need for every camping trip is of course a tent. It's an essential piece of equipment that everyone should bring along to a camping trip, unless they are glamping or something like that. From a really overpriced tent with basic features to super budget friendly ones with some great value for money, tents come in all shapes and sizes. However, today we have one of the best tents on a budget, and this is the Coleman Sundome 6 for $130. This one gets the job done, and reliably, it has a layer of separation between you and the bugs on the outside, should fare well against light to moderate rain, and even has some good privacy if you are camping with others near you. While it's not the best tent in the world, as its features aren't the best quality, it gets the job done, and at an affordable rate if you're starting to take camping seriously. The Sun Dome 6 is also very spacious, and should be able to fit a family of four if needed. If you really want to, they do in fact offer a Sun Dome 4, which is smaller and meant for two people instead. This tent is super good and worth your money. Let us know if you recommend this one down in the comment section below. Next is another piece of equipment all about comfort and reliability. Unlike items on the rest of this list, the goal with this one is comfort over technology. Luckily, Coleman offers a very simple and spacious camping sleeping bag for only $50 each. It's got a great rectangular design for optimal room and has some really soft fabrics to make sure you get to sleep cozy and comfy. It's going to keep you warm on cold nights and not too hot if things get a little heated out in the wild. Though it's got some cheaper materials to make up that $50 price tag, it's not bad at all. The price is well worth it for this budget design, but of course, there are much better ones if you have the money to put into it. And that's the end of today's video. Camping is becoming more and more popular recently, as people just want to get out after the pandemic. Companies are bringing out more product to help them, and more tips are coming out for people who have no idea what they're doing. Have you ever been camping before, or are you about to head out on your first experience? Let us know down in the comments below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this latest video. If you did, would you please let us know down in the comments section below? It would be very helpful. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching today's video.